Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guy. Okay, we've got a lot to get through today. I've got to open some mail. I've got to talk to you about the sale. I've got to explain to you how you can win some EDC for the EDG apparel. I've got to do a pocket dump. I've got to answer some EDC Q&A so you guys are just stop interrupting me so I can get to this. Um, where do we start? Let's start off with... Let's start off with a pocket dump and follow our usual workflow. Pocket dump, mail, Q&A, give away some stuff, that type deal. Okay, pocket dump. Uh... Left side pocket is the Manka MC11 II, still testing for review. Belt is Core Essentials, the awesome Core Essentials. Knife is the knife that I designed. Holster is Southwest Holsters Rattler. Um, firearm is Glock 19, Hollow Sun, and I'm still testing this Opsman weapon light. In the right side pocket we have my Benchmade Reptilian and did I lose my O pen to again? Ugh, no pen. Okay, pocket, that's the pocket dump done and dusted. Let's open up a package. The Olight Warrior Mini 2. Not bad, right? It's a freaking looker. I've been speaking to my contacts and my fellow uh, EDC gear reviewers over in the States. I hope this thing has a charge in it. And they've said this one is the business. Like, quite a few of them have gotten these. And it is apparently a marked upgrade over the original. So that's cool. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Nice weight in the hand. It's a bit bigger than the original. So, and it is quite the look. I must be honest, Olight's desert tan color is probably like the best desert tan color of any flashlight I've ever got in my hands. And it is quite a bit lighter than the Eternal. One second. Which is weird, right? Because it's bigger and lighter. Guys, if no one's done this already, I would like to coin this as the EDC for the EDG Olight Warrior Mini 2 carry method. Basically take the pocket clip, put it on the back end, take the little um, small keyring holder that comes with the clip on the, the back end, put it through the lanyard loop of the um, pocket clip, put this uh, carabiner that comes with the Warrior Mini 2 through that keyring holder and now you have that capability with your Warrior Mini 2, right? And what that means is if you are searching and assessing and you need to switch to your firearm, you can do so with the Warrior Mini 2 in hand. A little retention ring. Oh, like if no one's coined this before, I'd like to coin this as the EDC for the EDG Olight Warrior Mini 2 carry method. I'm going to have to abbreviate that. I'm liking this already. But guys, more importantly, not more importantly, equally importantly, um, Olight sale happening tomorrow. I've got to get through that. Uh, as you guys know, I always give you guys a heads up when Olight has, or when anybody has a sale. Got my notes right here. So if I'm looking down, it is literally because it's too much for me to remember. But I've only picked out the ones that I think are uh, exciting. Like, yeah. Now before I get into the details of that, guys, I do have an affiliate link with Olight. If you buy on my affiliate link, you're going to go into a draw to win an EDC for the EDG item of a paddle. It can be a t-shirt, a hoodie, whatever you choose. If you don't know what a paddle I sell, um, I work with Urban Warrior make, making EDC cover garments that look good but also easily conceal your EDC and has a lot of stretch so you can get access to it. So I do that. Um, head to my website www.edcfortheedg.co.za, link down below and you can see what you like. If you buy on my link you may be a lucky winner and you'll get to choose what item of EDC for the EDG apparel you want and it, you'll be hooked up with that for free. Tomorrow's sale, if you're watching the date of release, is from, the, from 10 a.m. on the 24th to like 3 a.m. on the 26th. The EDC, the EDC, the Olight Warrior Mini 2 is going to be on sale at 30% off. So if you ever wanted a Warrior Mini 2, like I said, the people who I speak to in the U.S. who've had this for a while have said this one is actually quite decent. And um, it's definitely an improvement over the original Warrior Mini. So if you do want that 30% off, there you go. Probably the best time in 2021 that you'll be able to buy a 
Warrior Mini. And then also the Warrior X Pro, which is this one right here, is also going to be 30% off. There's no battery in this one. And then the Balder S, which is the 800 lumen Balder. I don't even have one yet. Oh, like what is up? That's not going to be discounted, but it's going to be available in South Africa for the first time on tomorrow's sale. So that is probably the best of the Balders. More lumens. I think more Candela. It's got that locking mechanism so it doesn't wiggle around on your rail. Yeah, so if you are wanting a weapon like the Balder S is available. I can't tell you whether South East Holsters makes a holster for it or whether anybody makes a holster because I don't have one. Oh, like... Work with me here. The Warrior X Pro and the i3T are also going to be 40% off if you want like a big and a small. That's quite cool. And then the Warrior Mini 2, the new one, plus the i5T is also going to be 40% off. So that's also quite a cool deal if you and a friend want to go in on a deal. It's actually not bad. Guys, if you want the Warrior X Turbo in like a camo color, that's going to be 35% off. And then the Baton 3 Premium Edition, the one that I have in this pack, which I reviewed yesterday. That's also going to be like 35% off. And then there's like a whole lot of other deals on parents and things like that. And if you buy up to a certain amount, like 1,999 Rand, you get the free this and so on and so on. So check it out. It's going to be cool. Anyone who uses my link will stand a chance of winning some EDC for the EDG apparel. Let's take a question. Hi Ryan, thanks for the awesome content. I notice you only carry Southwest holsters. Holsters. Is this because you think they're the best? Do you think the other holster manufacturers are not up to their standard? Uh, I'd like to know the reason as I've seen you that you've done quite a few holster reviews, but I haven't done that many on Southwest holsters. Thanks for the great content from Jacques. So Jacques, okay, you know, this is such a touchy, touchy subject because of sensitivity. Um, I really like Southwest holsters for a multitude of reasons. Hold on, let me get some holsters quickly. Okay, so I really like Southwest holsters for a few reasons. One, artistic flair. I like things that look nice, okay? And James from Southwest holsters, being a tattoo artist, has the same ideals, okay? We don't like things that are just black or ODE or FDE. We like multiple colors and multicams and all those things. That's not really the most important thing. The most important thing is I carry weapon lights, okay, and different kinds of weapon lights. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's just get this holster off. Okay, so this holster is by Southwest Holsters and it's made for um, this, well, actually made for this Opsman. It's actually made for a different light, but this Opsman light fits in here like an absolute dream, okay? But so let's say, let's move that aside. This is also a Southwest Ulster that very few people see. Uh, and it's a great look. It's a freaking looker, right? This is a really awesome looking Ulster. But I always carry a weapon light. So I don't carry this Ulster that often. And I don't want to be hypocritical and say I'm carrying a Ulster or Ulster brand when I'm not carrying a Ulster brand. Quantum Carry, the centerline version 2. Great Ulster. Very, very comfortable. Very, very concealable. But I only have it for the base fire on. Last line of defense. Really, really great holster. International quality, high level holster. Love this holster. I actually missed this, the, the one piece holster design. Um, but this is for the OLED PL Mini 1. I don't carry it anymore. Um, Bravo Concealment. Great holster. Internationally known holster manufacturing company. But it's for just for the, sing for the base fire on, which I very rarely carry. Then you've got Southwest Holsters. So this is the Rattler, right? This will fit the Olight uh, PL Mini 2, the Balder Mini, the Balder Mini 2, uh, or the, what, the Balder Mini RL, which is the one with the locking mechanism. I think it will fit, fit the Balder S, and it fits my Mini or Compact Weapon Light of Choice, which is the Streamlight TLR7-8. So that's why I carry the Holsters all the time, and I'm not going to be like hypocritical and just for the sake of a video, put on a different holster just to promote someone else. Um, at the end of the day, I have all these holsters, but, and they are great. There's nothing wrong with any of them. One of them is even a Southwest also, but it doesn't suit my carry methodology. My carry methodology is always to carry a, a, a weapon mounted light on my firearm. So, so to answer your question, to make a long story long, I do think Southwest holsters are among the best holster manufacturers in the country. I think they are, they are the most 
agile when it comes to trying new things, um, which is something I appreciate because I hate stagnation. Like things must always be new and better. And you know, if you're still making the same holster you made two years ago, man, improve unless you're making the best holster ever. I mean, think about it this way. T-Rex just improved their holsters, right? And I mean, that's a multi-million dollar company, right? If you aren't making changes to improve, you're going to get left by the wayside. Um, so making a long story really long, I think they are visually the most appealing. Um, they are amongst the most comfortable, right? There, there's no, for me, there's no varying degree in comfort between the Southwest Holster and the other top Holster manufacturers. They are the most agile by far. I can like WhatsApp James and be like, dude, I got the ridiculous light. And he's like, see what you can do with this, that, or the other, and we make it work. Um, I don't get horses for free from them. It's very important that you know that. Um, so, yeah, that is why I choose Southwest horses. And the, more importantly, they suit my carry methodology. Right? At this juncture, uh, I don't know, and, I, and I'm not saying that they aren't. I don't know anyone else who makes a horse for the TLR7A. Right? I also know for a fact. Well, when I say no for the fact, I'm taking a chance. Um, I'm very confident no one makes a holster for the Opsman uh, weapon like that I'm running. So, there's that, right? Um, and in order for me to continue to test gear like that, I need holsters. Southwest holsters cater for that, so I run Southwest holsters. It was a really long story long. Guys, the sale tomorrow, my link is down below. I will remind you guys on Facebook and Instagram when the sale goes live. One lucky person who buys something on my using my link will win any item of EDC for the EDG apparel they want. So that's quite cool. Um, thank you for the Warrior Mini 2. I think this one is going to be cool. Uh, just for the fact that it can do this, I think it's going to be cool. Right? That This is already a win over the original. And the fact that it can be put in your pocket, bezel down, or um, yeah, front end down, tip down, whatever you want to call it is already an advantage over the previous generation but i will keep you guys informed on what's what and i'll definitely do a review on this you know my really aggressive olight reviews that is it guys have a good week be safe train odd cheers god bless